Hey guys, it's Julie E. and I want to talk to you about blood sugar. Why? Because I want you to know that carbohydrates are not evil. It's the type of carbohydrates and how and when you eat them because uh, that, that might be evil and it's because they raise your blood sugar. Every single thing that you eat converts into sugar in your blood and sugar gets converted into energy. And let me tell you, even your oils and your proteins get converted into sugar. So I want to draw a graph for you. This graph is in my first book, The No Diet Diet, and I talk about this all the time, and I want you to hear about it because so many people that I've taught this to have said this has completely changed their life for the better. So first of all, I'm gonna draw a graph. So if all food converts into sugar in your blood, let's just say we have this graph, which is your blood sugar, funny, it's abbreviated BS, and this graph is time, okay? So you'll see my handwriting is not perfect. I am better at my information. I'm gonna draw a little line like this. That's what we want your blood sugar to be, little ups and little downs throughout the day. There's no peaks and there's no crashing. We want your blood sugar to be little ups and little downs throughout the day. Your blood sugar dictates your energy. This pen is not bright enough. Your blood sugar dictates your energy, your mood, whether you're burning or storing calories or fat, and therefore it also affects your hormones. So blood sugar is pretty important, not just about gaining weight or directly in terms of what you think it is, but it really affects your entire life. So let's say that here is time zero and that you eat a simple sugar. Simple sugars mean that they, they're simple. There's not a lot of digesting that has to happen when you get them into your body. Orange juice, a tall glass of orange juice could be a simple sugar. Scientifically, it's literally just like sugar molecules bound together. There's not a lot of complication in it. So let's say at time zero, you have sugar, a simple sugar, a large glass of orange juice. Your blood sugar is gonna rise through the roof and then what goes up must come down. So it's also gonna crash. And this can happen in as little as five minutes. So if we, tr if we assimilate blood sugar to energy, your blood sugar rises really high, really fast and it crashes really low, really fast. And when you drop below this line, that's not a good thing. When you drop below this line, you are tired, starving, so hungry I could eat a horse, so hungry I feel like I wanna kill someone, like road rage, and at the same time, you're also affecting your hormones, your energy, and you're probably storing more calories as fat. Your body's like shoving everything into your fat cells. So we don't want that. This is a simple sugar. So I'm gonna abbreviate it, SS. Let's say that you have complex carbohydrates or complex sugar like bread, rice, or pasta. Your blood sugar is going to rise. I'm gonna use this one. Your blood sugar is gonna rise pretty high and it's also gonna to crash too, but that could take more like 30 minutes to an hour. So you still end up with the same pattern and this is from complex carbohydrates. So we have simple sugars and complex carbohydrates. But what's really the healthiest way to eat? It's a mixture of food. Rarely do we just have one food in isolation, although a lot of times when people munch or binge, it is straight up on carbs. But if you eat protein, carbs, and fats in balance or a healthy balanced meal, then what really should happen and the healthiest balance should be like this. Your blood sugar should rise slow and steady so that as you digest your food, it comes down slow and steady. And you never crash through the line. Instead, right before you crash through the line, I'm gonna fix this arrow a little bit so you could see it. What do you do? If you're, you're gonna get, you're gonna reach this peak at about two to three hours and then over here, it's gonna be about three to four hours. And what do you do every three to four hours? 
Well, what are you supposed to do? Eat, right? So if you eat again before you crash through the line, you're going to end, if the arrow is down here, you're going to end up going straight this way or up that way, hopefully in a balance. So you will stay in this area, which is really what I refer to as the zone. So we never want to crash below the line. And if you eat before you're starving, you eat more sensibly, don't you? And if you eat before you're starving, sometimes you think, I'm not even hungry, but it's lunchtime. So you just eat a little bit or you're eating healthy. And so when you eat healthy, it's almost like you would be eating a, and going on a straight line. The more salad, vegetables, protein, oil you eat, the lower the blood sugar rise. But let's just call this very high with a VH. Let's call this high with an H and let's call this medium and down here would be low. So if you ate something that didn't raise your blood sugar at all, that would be a low. That might be what you do when you eat and you're not really hungry. But really, we want to stay in this zone right here. Why do we call this the zone? I call it the zone because this is when people feel their absolute best. And you want to be in the zone, right? I think everyone always wants to be in the zone. So in order to get a medium, you could eat a high or an a low together, and you could still end up with a medium. That's how we could still eat carbohydrates. We can still eat bread, rice, or pasta, but put it with vegetables, and then we get a more medium response. So there is something called the glycemic index. It is a measure of how high and how fast a food raises your blood sugar. And there is a numbered graph where everything is based from like zero to 100. But I find that the easiest is just using low, medium, and high. It's a lot more simple. So things that are high or very high are super high in carbohydrates and sugar and very, very processed. Believe it or not, Special K and air popped popcorn are very high. Like the line may even go higher or faster. And aren't those usually back in the day seemed as diet food? They, I mean, I think that was one of the things Weight Watchers used for a long time. Special K, Rice Krispies, um, rice cakes. Those are pretty high. Things that are low are proteins and fats and things with more fiber in them. So all your salad foods. Things that are medium often are like most fruits. Um, cantaloupe and honeydew are gonna come off high. Berries are gonna come off low. But most of your fruits, your oranges, your apples, those are more medium. They have a little bit of fiber in them. And beans are gonna be more medium. Some be lentils are gonna be low. So the more fat, the more protein, the more fiber, the lower the food is gonna be. So we want you to eat in this balanced place all of the time because if you eat and, and never get a peak in your blood sugar, you're also never gonna get a crash. And we never wanna go below this line and that would be the crash. So when you stay in the zone, you're gonna have more energy, you're gonna burn more fat continuously, you're gonna slide through the rest of your day without going, I'm starving, or oh, I'm so full, or oh, I'm so tired. So we want you to coast and that's why we want you to stay in the zone. So I really want you to master this blood sugar. Read the food labels. I'm gonna have another couple of videos that explain part two and food labels. So stay on top of the blood sugar, the graph, and reading food labels, and you will master this, and you will have an improved health, and you'll know that carbohydrates are not the enemy, that it's really just how you pair them in your day. So I'm Julie E. Have a healthy day.